and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some super go wee wee. I am having a load of fun with this. I've tried two variations of super go wee wee. Of course, there is many variations, but I'll show you the two variations that I use today. And I'm actually going to show you one base that I hit with one variation and then I'm hitting the same base with the other variation. So sit tight, buckle up, stay tuned and enjoy the show. Okay, before we actually show you the different components of this attack and show you some attacks, I want to give a big thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel through liking the videos, through hitting that sub button, and leaving comments down below. You personally are responsible for helping this channel grow. So for doing so in the past, I want to give a big, big thank you. And I want to give a big, big thank you for the people who haven't done it, because hopefully after this video, they're really going to like it, and they will do so afterwards. So make sure if you did like this video, or even if you didn't, make sure you're oh, down below make sure you're hitting that like button hit that sub button and leave me a comment down below uh, if there's anything that you see that you liked in this video or anything that you understand about the attack that i'm using or see mistakes that i did or see some things that i did right leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think so for now let's go into the different components of the attack and talk about it well first of all over here uh, we talked about I'm using two different variations. I have used two different variations. And what's going to change in the two variations are going to be uh, these spells that I'm circling right here. I'm going to show you in two of the attacks I'm going to show you, I'm using this variation. And then in one other, I'll show you what I started with, which is using bats. So when I'm using bats, I'm just replacing the four quake and the, and the jump with uh, six bat spells or five bat spells and a poison. Um, now let's talk about the troops up top. Well, you have three tanks here. What are the tanks? The tanks are your ice golem and your two regular golems. Those are your tanks. Those are where you're going to put your, what's going to be in front of your super wizards and your witches. Now, how do you decide where to put them? Well, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm usually putting the uh, ice golem in front of the log launcher and I'm putting the two other ice golems on the on the other side of the line. So I'm putting three tanks throughout the line, and whichever wherever I'm going to deploy my log launcher is is where the uh, ice golem is going to go. And then of course behind it, I'm making a long line of of witches and a long line of super wizards. Um, I'm using the I'm using my super wall breaker to open up one hole. I'm using a jump spell. When I'm using the jump spell, I'm using the jump spell to connect the lines, and I'm using the earthquake spells to open up a bigger hole. Uh, when I'm using the well, let's just let's get into the attacks. Let's stop let's stop talking about this, and let's actually get into the attacks so I can show you what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are on the first base of the video, the first attack of the video. So one thing which I did learn is I was told that if you're using your earthquake spells, you should always try and catch the town hall in the earthquake. And the reason being is if you take off enough damage off the town hall, then the, then the logs from the log launcher will take out the town hall on its own. In this situation, I was not able to reach the town hall. I wanted to clear this I tried to get it with my earthquake, but I wanted to open up that area so my troops can go in. So that is where I'm going to use my earthquake. I'm going to use my jump spell over here. Uh, I think I use my jump spell over here, it's just so I can clip that clip that eagle so they can jump into the eagle and still be able to go straight through. Um, I'm going to my 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 uh, golems are going to be it's going to be golem ice and then golem with a line of witches behind, line of super wizards behind. I'm gonna bring in my royal champ like this because as the troops are moving in, this is gonna be the, the right flank is gonna be the weak area. So I'm gonna bring that, bring that royal champ in to keep those troops moving forward and to keep the defenses, uh, to keep the defenses being destroyed as they move forward towards the town hall. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's a very, very fast attack. As you can see, this one only took uh, like a minute and a half for the whole attack. So let's go in and let's watch it together. If there's anything that I see in there, 
Uh, I will point it out as the attack is going on. Less than a minute and a half for this whole attack. There it is. There's the quakes. Quakes are down. That opens up the whole bottom section. Um, one thing which I think I did wrong, I think I'm dropping my, my super wall breaker. I shouldn't have dropped it early. Let those, let those golems, give those golems a chance to create that funnel and take out this area to get all the troops moving in. But it was enough. The, uh, the, the, um, the skellies from the, from the witches are doing a fine job tanking for those super wizards and they go through. And as you can see, the log launcher is making more and more holes. Um, the jump spell, the, there's the jump spell. The jump spell's there to open up that area and to get them through to the next side. Using the warren ability to, uh, to save your troops from the, the, the difficult areas, the single target infernos, or just things like that. And as you can see, my, my royal champ is moving along. I have the king that's all over here, tanking for the royal champ, and they're just moving through, moving through. And down at the end, I have some super wizards and the queen and some golems that are just doing a fabulous job taking out those defenses. But now let's show you the other variation that I started off with, the bats. I'm going to show you that variation on one base. And then on the same base, I'm going to show you that attack using the other variation. So for right now, we still have the Royal Champ ability, still have that Queen ability. Let's double speed through this attack and show you the triple and show you the army comp and move on to the next one. Okay, so here we are on the next base. The play button is already playing. Uh, so again, let's talk about what I did here. It's golem, golem, and then witches, wizards, and then I'm gonna deploy, I'm gonna do a late deployment of the ice golem with some more witches and wizards and the uh, the, the uh, log launcher going through. Um, what I'm doing here is as follows. I'm trying to take out all of the Wiz Towers. If you notice on this base, all the Wiz Towers are pretty much up here. So once I get all those things, that all those Wiz Towers down, it's literally, it's just protecting my, just protecting my troops. I protect it with a Warden ability. I protect it with uh, that King is being targeted by that single target. And I keep getting him out of, out of harm's way. I, I, Pop his ability, get him out of the harm's way. Now I have the last, the last, what he called the last whiz tower on the board. I drop a bat bomb on it with the royal champ behind it going through. The troops are moving through. The uh, the CC comes out, but you don't even take a, uh, no, no poison on this. So troops are moving through. Just try to get him through as much as possible. I have some back end, some back end super wizards that I'm holding on for the back end of this. And the troops are moving through. My royal champ uh, used the ability. The queen still has her ability. Still have those troops that I'm holding on to. Now I deploy those troops. And the king takes it. The king is tanking for the queen. The queen pops off that town hall. And that is it. I am going to show you this same base now without the bats. And you decide which one you like better. But we'll talk about during the next attack. We'll talk about when you should be using the bats and when you should not be using the bats. Okay, so here we are on the last attack of the video. And like I said, I was going to show you the same base being taken twice. This one was actually being taken in a uh, in a CWL war. So what did I do over here? I started it the same way. I dropped a golem over here, a golem over here. I wall broke here. My ice golem was over here with the log launcher behind it. And the troops just moved, moved down. This compartment got taken care of by the troops coming in. So at that point, I, I quaked over here to, cause all the troops are moving this way. So I wanted free range over here. And then I dropped my jump spell like that so I can get them down towards the town hall. The Royal Champ is gonna be coming in along this way to keep the troops, keep the bulk of the troops moving down in a motion towards the town hall. You always want your troops to be moving down. So now let's play this out. And then we'll talk about when you should be using bats and when you shouldn't be using bats or why I stopped using bats. I stopped using bats because I saw that this, this troop comp was definitely more versatile to be used during Legends. And the reason is, is because 
if you're if this if the town hall is in the center then the bats are really nice because they can swing around and they can keep your troops moving forward into the town hall the problem is is that when you have bases like this one over here or the one that i showed you on the previous attack where the town hall is all the way down on the bottom you're really not getting a lot of usage out of your bats. As you saw from the previous one, it was just I used my bats for one section for a bat bomb. Where this over here, I have a lot more versatility within my spells to use all those different spells that I have, all of those different spell slots that I have. The bats take up, you know, a decent amount of space. I mean, six spell slots, so, you know, I use, I use the quakes over here and I'm enjoying the quakes. But I mean, I'm curious to what you what you guys think. I mean, I want to hear what you if you, I want to hear what you think about the two different army comps, or maybe not even using quakes at all, maybe not using bats at all, maybe just using more jumps, more rages, possibly a heal. I try to heal. Heal really doesn't do anything at Town Hall 13. Not with these little troops. I'm not getting any really really good anything special out of my. Uh, out of my heel but definitely leave me a comment down below let me let me know what you think about these different army comps or pop into the live stream it's twitch.tv forward slash clash playhouse and let me know what you think but this is going to be it this was the last attack of the video i hope you enjoyed it uh once again if you did enjoy it make sure you leave a like make sure you leave a uh, sub if you haven't done so already and that's going to be it for this video let's uh, show that triple show the army comp and thank everybody for sticking around till the end and until the next video have a great day.